Yo, what is up everybody? It's me, Thelen Weeb, here with another episode of one of the what ifs that I talked about in the last video. Uh, that's coming out of part 6. So yeah, it's what if Naruto was an alchemist, part 6. So this what if's going to be pretty eventful and uh, I think it'll be kind of fun. So if you guys really like it and want another part, as the last video showed, we got 21 likes, that was awesome. Then let, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos, and comment down any suggestions for any videos you guys want to see below. I've done plenty of what ifs, I've done like two or three that I'm on third one I'm working on right now for suggestions from plenty of my subscribers, so that could be one of your videos too. So if you want to see one of your ideas come to life, and if you have any specific parts of the story that you want to be seen, then make sure to tell me and I'll work on it if I find it interesting. Like uh, right now. This show, The Fist of the North Star, that I'm watching, someone suggested. Uh, I'm looking into that to see if there's anything I can do that would be relevant to the story, I think. And yeah, there's some potential. So if anyone else has any shows or any anime or anything, it could be like comics too, like what I did with Deku, Deku and the Juggernaut, then uh, just make sure to comment below and I'll look into it. Anyway, let's get into this part. So last time... Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura finally made it to the middle of the Forest of Death. Aruka sensei greeted them and then started to explain about the second part of the tuning exams. Naruto, being wary of this, knowing that so what Sasuke has on his neck, begins to tell Aruka sensei how much ask Aruka sensei how much time they have before the next test. Aruka, wondering how, why Naruto's so curious all of a sudden and not just going with things, explains to Naruto that they have 15 minutes. Naruto smiles and said that's plenty of time. He then drags Sasuke off into the corner and tells Sasuke he's going to help him out. He then explains to Sasuke, Alright Sasuke, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that cur that weird mark on your neck, okay? So he tell then tells Sasuke he's only been able to do this one time before to heal him, and it also, like, it took his entire left arm and all the way from the elbow down. So he better not, so if, if Sasuke moves, don't screw it up, because he wants to keep both his legs and his other arm at least. Sasuke flinches and thinks Naruto is being serious when he says he's kidding. He then places his hands together and lightning begins to flow as he begins to activate alchemy. He pushes, he presses his hands on the curse mark and then closes his eyes. As he begins to remove remove the curse mark, he has to put something equ equivalent in exchange. He moves one of his hands off and onto the ground. As the as the skin begins to peel off of and the seal begins to be un uh, unsealed out of Sasuke's skin, the rock begins to form in Sasuke's neck. Sasuke begins to, begins to act to be, feel pain and says, "Ah, Naruto, easy, easy, ease up." And then Naruto, when Naruto's complete ripping out of a, ripping Orochimaru's seed out of Naruto, out of Sasuke's neck, he then throws to, throws the the piece of skin to the ground where it begins to burn as the curse mark tries to take over the skin so it, it, it can survive. As it fizzles out and dies, if Sasuke breathes out a sigh of relief and then begins to peel the rock out of, out of his neck, when he does so, blood begins to spurt out and he and he, he quickly says. He's quickly surprised. He then pulls out cloth from Sasuke. Then pulls out cloth from his bag and then wraps it around his neck so he doesn't bleed. He then sighs relief and tells Naruto thanks for getting that weird thing off of him, and it was starting to hurt and use up his chakra. Naruto says no problem and that it's the least he could do. After Sasuke fought that guy like that for everybody, while well, he was so well, he didn't do as well as he should have, and that he was holding back the team. Sasuke tells Naruto that he he is actually amazing and that he shouldn't be down on himself. Naruto smiles and then helps Sasuke up and gives him a hand. They're much friendly to each other as Naruto and Sasuke are more relevant in skill, and Sa Sasuke is more fo fo focused on chakra and ninjutsu while Naruto is developing his alchemy skills. When they head back to the group, Aruka sensei if, if, as, if asked, tells him that the test is beginning. Kakashi is about is about going to talk to Sasuke about removing the curse mark, as he as Sakura had gone and told him. But then he looks towards at Sasuke's neck, and there isn't a curse mark there anymore. He then thinks about what he could have been, and then he realizes it must have been Naruto using alchemy. So, uh, so uh, Kakashi considers wondering if he could even learn alchemy, but then thinks about how long it took the Princess Tsunade, how she, the th first Okage's grandson, to learn it. It took her almost 30 years, which means uh, it 30 years to master it to the point where he, she can actually use transmutation circles to the point Naruto could before the Land of Waves. He then th does, ignores the idea and continues watching the exams. Naruto is put up in a fight against Kiba and destroys Kiba. As Kiba is about to use his fang over fang attack, Naruto p says he puts his hands together and clasps clasp them, his gloves and, and red coat on, on, on hand, as he, wears, as he wears them over his normal clothes. 
He then clasps his, his, his gloved hands and, and, and to the ground, and then touches the ground. The ground begins to feel electricity across it, as it then shoots up and spikes and smashes Kiba and, and Akamaru to the wall, who are then knocked out. Naruto then uh, cla brushes his hands off, puts his hands to the ground, and then re-puts re it back to normal so they don't have to clean it up. He then waves to Aruka sensei and says so to Sasuke and Sakura good luck. He hops back up and Kiba is out of the exam, before it even started. Hinata's blushing at this point and says that Naruto is so amazing. Then, next up, Sasuke versus uh, the, the dude from the sound from the sound who can absorb chakra. Sasuke decimates this guy, so he doesn't have to deal with any of the, the curse marks, abilities, or effects on him. Kawato at this point is freaking himself out as he realizes that his cur that Orochimaru's, Lord Orochimaru's curse mark isn't activated and it's not working on Sasuke. He then thinks about it and says, Damn, that weird brat with his weird powers. It must have been him. What is it, What even is that? A Keke Genkai? He then thinks about it and then realizes, Oh my god. He, th he wonders if this kid has somehow been trained by the great uh, great Sanin, Lord, uh, Princess Tsunade, known for her special type of chakra use and a different type of energy only related to, this, to the clan from developed from Hashirama's clan. Then he, he shakes his head and says that's impossible. There's, there's no way this kid can know such a, a person so important. He then focuses back on the exam as Sasuke finishes defeating the Sound Ninja. Sakura and Ino have their fight, nothing changes, useless this stays useless. Gar and Rock Lee have their fight, everything stays the same until the point where everyone gets out of the exam. Naruto and Sasuke wave goodbye as Sasuke heads off with Kakashi. Kakashi doesn't actually instruct uh, Naruto to work with Ibisu as his cha he doesn't really use chakra. Naruto has a ton of chakra at this point, but he's mostly been utilizing alchemy and he doesn't really rely on his large chakra pool for anything other than stamina and also strength, basic strength, speed, and recovery. Excuse, excuse me. Um, then Naruto runs into Jiraiya and Jiraiya sees this kid as and, and asks what he's doing. Naruto sees how impressive Jiraiya is and asks if he could train him. Jiraiya laughs and asks what, he, what could he even train him. And then the, he amuses the kid. They go out and then uh, Nar he tries to instruct Naruto on how to use the QB's chakra and Gamabunta. Naruto shakes his head and says he doesn't really need that stuff, and that he's more interested in the art of alchemy. Jiraiya's eyes open wide at this and says, What? Alchemy? I haven't heard about that art in a long time. He then thinks back to him and Tsunade and Orochimaru when they were fighting during the, th uh, the th third Great Ninja War. Third Great Ninja War. And then the, he focuses, snaps back to reality. As he says, there's no way you know alchemy. It's it's too powerful. It's it's, it's above an S rank. It's, it's above an S, an S rank jutsu. It's so strong that even the third Okage hasn't hadn't even completely mastered it. Then Naruto says, I'll show you, see? He then clasps his hands together and touches the ground, and then immediately creates a pillar statue of Jiraiya himself. Naruto smiles at Jiraiya and says, I think that's alchemy, don't you? Jiraiya is shocked, opens his mouth wide, and says, I don't know if I'd be the best person to train you, kid, but I can I can still work with you on your chakra skills if you want any help with that. Naruto is kind of disappointed by this, but then says, sure, why not? Jiraiya then tells Naruto before they start their training that if, he, if, see, if he's seriously seeking more power in the alchemy field of things, there's only two people currently alive who could actually help him with that kind of training. And he, he, he personally knows both of them. Naruto's surprised and says and that there's other people who can use alchemy like him. He asks Jiraiya what they're, who, who, who are they. Then Jiraiya explains to him that the people who can use it are both from the Leaf Village, as it was created by the, 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 sec, the first Hokage's younger brother, the second Hokage, Tobi Rama. He explains that the great Sanin Tsunade is known for using her art called Alka History, a type of healing using alchemy, utilizing alchemy to heal people much faster than chakra-based medical dinjutsu. He then says that, however, I think the person who would be you'd be more interested in training you would probably be the third Hokage himself. Naruto was surprised at this, says, wait, the third Hokage can use alchemy? Jiraiya nods his head and says that the third Okage had mastered almost all sorts of arts of ninjutsu and ninja as the god of shinobi. Naruto smiles and, and wonders if he should train with the third Okage, but he says he'll do it some other time. The third Okage's got plenty of time left to throw, after all. Jiraiya recounts his days of watching the third Okage use alchemy against them when Tsunade was impressed with it and asked if he, she could learn it from him. Jiraiya snaps back to reality and begins training with the Kyuubi and Gamabunta. 
Naruto has the same interaction where he has to use the Kyuubi's chakra and sends Gamabunta, and he works on that for the rest of the month. Once the fight begins for ne versus Neji and Gara, it's practically the same, except for Naruto's fight. Sasuke and Gara's fight will end up the same, but Neji and Naruto's fight's quite different. When Naruto gets into the arena, he's wearing his his uh, his outfit. He's wearing a red cloak, very similar to Edward Elric, with black gloves, and his hair is tied back at now. He had let his hair grow out over the month and now has longer hair, much like Minato. He looks down towards Neji and then leaps, leaps down to the arena, clasping down. Once he finally re reaches the ground, he, Neji hears a weird metal clank. As Naruto walks forward, he tells Neji that he's not going to go easy on him. Neji, Neji makes a, a, a dark smile and says that if you, if you don't go all out, you're definitely going to die. Naruto laughs a little bit and says that's funny. The fight begins. Naruto clasps his hands together and pu pushes them to the ground. The gr entire arena starts to shake as, as Earth shoots out of the ground towards Neji. Neji's eyes open wide as he begins losing his foothold, which is after all is his main point for when he's using the 360 palm rotation defense. He falls to the ground and then Naruto disappears. Naruto almost appears to teleport behind him and then kicks him up into the air. Then, Naruto pulls his left glove off, revealing an iron hand, the Executioner Blade, in it is, to be exact, is his hand. With a blade on it, he, he has, he's de-sharpened de the blade for this fight. He rushes forward and whacks his metal arm at full strength as he can into Neji. Neji, using his Byakugan, can see that this weird that his, his, this metal arm isn't alive, but it has chakra veins in it, meaning that Naruto can actually control it. Naruto thrusts his fist towards Neji, and it hurts a lot. Neji screams as his left arm's bone sh like shatters, and the blood falls onto Naruto's arm. The arm begins to heal itself from any damage as it did before, and Naruto smiles at how impressive his, his arm is. He then puts his glove back on before any of the crowd can notice what actually just went on. Neji begins to breathe heavily at this point, and Naruto, knowing that this is his chance, rushes forward. He then, using his, using his normal arm, reaches forward and, and grabs Neji's headband, disintegrating Neji's, Neji's, Neji's headband, revealing his, his birdcage behind it. Naruto then shows Neji and says, Neji, I don't understand what you, why you think destiny is so important, but I'm going to prove you wrong right here and now. He says he tells Neji, if you want, don't want to die, then you better fall back. If you want to live to prove that Destiny doesn't want you to die here, then dodge this. Naruto at full speed lunges his hand forward, and Neji dodges just in time. As lightning blitzes off of, ne of Naruto's hand and touches the spot of the ground, the ground that reaches touches his hand disintegrates into particles in an instant. Naruto looks into Neji's eyes, and Neji sees slit like slit like Kurama eyes in Naruto. As Neji falls to the ground of fear, he he gives he gives up as he's out of chakra. Naruto stands over him and then puts his hand into the air. The crowd cheers for Naruto's skills, and Naruto then reaches his hand down to pick Neji up. As Neji put, looks to the side, he tells Neji, Neji, don't look away. Raise your head. You're a strong fighter, and I'm impressed that you lasted such, so long against me. Neji, Neji looks up and tells Naruto that you weren't this strong a month ago. What happened to you? Naruto looks down and tells Neji that he saw the truth. And then... The irony behind this meaning doesn't reach Neji. Neji, thinking this is funny as he has the Byakugan that, that is supposed to be good for seeing, then grabs Naruto's hand and Naruto pulls him up. They look into they look at each other and Naruto says that this is a good fight and that Neji should rethink about how life is. Neji smiles and says that he'll think about it. The match is over and Naruto recedes to the stands. And now they wait for the fight with Sasuke and Gaara. If you like this video, then make sure to come back to like, so comment, subscribe. And if you want a part 7 where we get Naruto versus Gara and on from there, make sure to keep supporting my channel and this video and we'll make sure to have more. So thank you guys. Love y'all. Bye. It's black and white.